definitely and traditionally Japan are the strongest nation in Asia but looking on form and what we saw yesterday you'd have to say that Rodney McIntosh should take a lot of confidence that 21 all draw that's a game against France that they should have won so Carlo Damasco the Italian referee signals to go and a little bit of a chart beginning for Hong Kong from the local crowd it's about a third full in the stands at the moment and straight through goes Rowan and now Mark Wright is number one to the man with the uh, dreadlocks for Japan it's one of the two uh, Tongan originals and a very fine player he is too let's have a look at them this time it goes through the body achieved yesterday as I say that was a game that uh, they let get away against France would have been historical for Hong Kong to actually beat them but they moved it out and Beasley stepped off his left beat the tackle of Matsushita and gassed away for 30 meters the perfect start and obviously they have taken some confidence from last night just puts a little wave up to the big support that comes in from the south stand for the Hong Kong team they're running towards them in the first half and they have the early lead is the originally from New Zealand from Nelson Sonny Nelson in the top of the South Island of New Zealand it's made his home now in Hong Kong that's the one of the twins there oh look at that a big lateral pass uh, American football style not American football style and that's the next one coming in from Zulu, and now it is with Matsushita and uh, here's uh, Japan fighting back goodness me just like that but uh, how about that pass Willie that's one of the most spectacular we've ever seen here well, Joe Montana would be pleased to actually claim that that's quarterback material and the man here on debut Kaoru Matsushita plays from for the Yamaha company there's that massive pass that must have gone 40 meters on the fly took out four of the Hong Kong defenders and it was just a matter of waiting for the cavalry the support and it came in the form of a good finisher and Matsushita and the 25 year old did the rest makes you wonder Willie uh, with uh, seven rugby only kind of like half the number of players on the football field whether that shouldn't be uh, employed more as a tactic it certainly as you say cleared a lot of space real quick kicks off seven all goes down to Nigel Dieta and he hands it off quickly to Kabuki and out it goes now to Yokoyama and he's the speedster out wide but he's taken down at 22 looks like a man has gone back to the ruck for an earlier penalty for Japan So with the ball now is Takashi Suzuki. And what are they going to do here? A little tap and go? Yes. And there is Lokatui. And just a little chip kick out wide for Yokoyama. But oh, that's unfortunate. He had actually run onto it very well. But the bounce eluded him. And uh, getting across was today's birthday boy 21 years of age how do you like that uh, Willie what do you reckon he really is about 12 13 well I don't even think he knows what a razor is that's right he's a young one but uh, there it is congratulations Keith fancy uh, the thrill of playing for his country on his 21st birthday Seconds on the first half at 7 all. 
Not sure whether Hong Kong coach Rod McIntosh would be entirely happy with uh, that option taken by Andrew Chalmers. He had a full back line out to his right. It wasn't their throw, so really turnover ball is the best attacking option, and to kick it to give possession back to Japan, very strange. Listening for the call, gets it, and now here comes the throw, and up goes Kuro Zuru into the backs now. Suzuki. Aggressive play there by Yusaku Kurozuru. And here comes Robertson and he made a quick throw in which is uh, perfectly allowed but it's gone forward in the tackle have a look at this mate well he only gave away about 80 kilos on that and it just goes to show with correct technique shoulder into the body and then driving the legs he certainly is uh, celebrating his 21st birthday with style so on this side of the front road Sione Batube running with confidence outside the own half. This is uh, Colin Bisley. He scored the try. <laughs> Here's Lopatui trying to get it out wide to the speed star, uh, Yoko Yang. And he is quick to have Robertson on the fence this time. The boy is having a whale of a party. about four presents he's given to the Hong Kong team. Should be the other way around. Maybe it will be later. Lovely defensive work by Keith Robertson. Well, he's no slug here. So Yokoyama just kept his eye on him, gave him the outside option. And that's when the ball was lost forward. But you did right, Keith. Keith Robinson, uh, Robertson having a wonderful time. Started in mini rugby with Sandy Bay under sevens as a scrum half. Yeah, and they played on here in the... Uh, in the uh, mini rugby that sh the people who come to the stadium real early see on the days leading up to when the big guys come on so what a journey it's been locked up tight at uh, just a few seconds to go till the end of the half at seven each we have a man down on the other side a bit of claret as we say in the biz it was uh, you might have been tempted to say uh, by the way you were going at the media party last night will you a bit of Cabernet Sauvignon a little bit of Merlot perhaps <laughs> okay, okay, okay. so here goes Mark Wright <laughs> man coming out of the field is Tom McQueen by the way play Hong Kong to end the uh, half with a flourish here goes the number three Batu Bay for Japan. And the second go, and here's the new man under the park, McQueen. Fling it wide to Dieka. And there's Robertson. The South Stand has erupted. This is the face of the future for Hong Kong. And that's just brilliant. But take a bow, Tom McQueen. He took the quick tap from the penalty. They transferred it. He still had a lot of work to do because Yokoyama is not a bad defender. Breaks through there. Vaduvai comes at him. Lokatui comes at him. But he wasn't out, wasn't held, got up and planted the ball down for his third try in 2008 here in Hong Kong. So there's the half-time whistle, and what a half it's been for this young man. What a terrific way to celebrate. We don't want to go on about it too much, but he's played such a big role in the half. And it's been reached with Hong Kong, thanks to Keith Robertson in many ways, leading Japan by 12 to 7.